What's going on guys? Welcome to East West Beats and today I wanted to do a simple Logic Pro basic tutorial on how to export bus tracks. Now let's say you have a stack of vocals or an instruments but you want to just bounce this one particular um, one particular bus or you have a reverb bus and you need to bounce it to send it to an engineer. How do you do that? It's quite difficult because you can't really hit control B and bounce this track in place. What's the suggestion and how do you do that? Well, the way to do that is once you have everything that you need to bounce ready, you just select those tracks. For example, if I were to select the vocal stem and the reverb, once you have everything selected, all you have to do is go to File, Export, and then you choose Two Tracks and Audio Files. Now you can see even though there are multiple audio files under the vocal stem, it is only choosing the vocal stem bus. However, if I were to choose everything underneath it and go to File, Export, it will show everything that is selected 10 tracks so once you have everything all you have to do is go to file export two tracks as audio files i'm just going to choose the cycle range only and all you have to do is hit export and logic will export all of those and add you can he you can see that the reverb bus has been exported as well as the vocal lead has been exported um chose the wrong track uh, the vocal stem has been exported as well. So and it's rather different than other DAWs that people are used to. But if you're like me and you use Logic Pro exclusively, this is one way of exporting your, your send effects or your buses, be it for mixing mastering purposes or creative production purposes. It's a simple way. All you have to do is just select the buses and hit export and you will be able to do that in Logic Pro. I hope you guys found this helpful and if you did, make sure you hit a like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, as usual, leave them in the comments and I'll see you at the next one.